Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome back to another week of Daily Star Wars Collecting. My name is Wampa Slayer 111 and today I would like to talk about uh, our primary and our secondary uh, subjects, which is uh, playsets and uh, Jedi Master Yoda. So, uh, first off, I'd like to apologize to Josh and the rest of you guys for uh, posting a little bit late. Um, I had a really rough week this whole week, especially yesterday. I had the whole day off, but I had to be a million places at once, and um, I'm just getting back from work today. I worked this morning, but uh, I made sure I'd, I'd be back in time to post something up by Saturday. So without further ado, um, let's get into the playset topic. This is actually uh, one of the playsets I own. I own another one. This is uh, the vintage, very old playset, by the way. I have another, which is the uh, Hoth playset, but it's just a mess. There's The cardboard's ripped and whatnot, so I won't break that out. Just a real big pain in the butt. Um, this was before my time, so um, what I what I think about these, I, I would I like these better, I think, because the ones in the '90s, like uh, the Power of the Force play sets here, I didn't even know they made these until recently, actually. You know, like these bigger box Power of the Force too. Uh, Figures and and creatures and whatnot. I didn't get into the play sets. I was in more of the uh, you know like the vehicles, like the the swoop here, or like one of the creatures, like the wampa. You know, they definitely stopped making the uh, play sets after a while. Whenever uh, Kenner turned to Hasbro. And they just don't make them like this anymore. They started making them into the creatures and the vehicles. And um, that was more appealing to kids. And it was easier, you know. Like a lot of kids just want to get right into the action and play. Whereas this, you had instructions and um, a lot of cardboard. Um, kids want to rip it up and whatnot. And, you know, so... That's my thought of that. Um, I I like play sets that are, are mixed materials like cardboard and plastic as you can see. I put a few of my other vintage figures here like uh, Tusken Raider and Ben Kenobi over there. But this thing is just a classic just to get a closer look. Like there's a little elevator right there. There's a little peg right, right there you can stick a droid. And there's peg everywhere where you can stick um, different figures and whatnot. There's action uh, features here I'm missing, but um, in the cave back there behind Obi Wan, and the capsule I'm missing as well. But you know it's it's all in good play. It looks uh, it looks pretty good. I got it all in uh, one piece for five bucks a while back in the last year. So um, that's my thought on play sets. I won't torture you with me drawing one. I'm not a very good artist at all. But if I say if I said that they had to redo one or maybe do a better one, I would say I would, I'd like to see a better version of the uh, Dagobah um, Yoda's house, his housing. Like they have a, it's something like this. It's it's an older uh, Kenner playset, but it, it's kind of crude and smallish. So if they made it a little bit bigger than this, like something like this size, and and it'd be modern, that'd look pretty all right to me. So on to the uh, second subject, which is this Jedi Master here, Yoda. And as a collector, I can tell you right now, this is the best figure they have released so far. That's him carded, and this is him loose. His uh, he's articulated everywhere. The only problem that everybody, including myself, has is the hair. If they fix the hair. It'd be the perfect Yoda figure. There'd be no need to improve on it. But this is definitely, definitely the vintage collection is the best Yoda ever. So far. Thus far. Um, he's very important, I think. He's, uh, he's, uh, old. <laughs> and he, he's just something else. He, uh, there's lots of books and stuff that I can refer, but this is one of them. 
This is Dark Rendezvous. Ryota has a lot of history. He's 900. He's really old, obviously, and it, to understand just a few uh, nick, nick, like uh, info and stuff like that about him, it was it just wouldn't be right. So I try and dig up as much info as I can on Yoda, and this is a great book. He was uh, Darth, or I'm sorry, yeah, Darth Tyrannus's uh, master, aka Count Dooku. So he's pretty much. Uh, pretty much the sole reason why Count Dooku is uh, the way he is. I mean, not the sole reason, but he's he's pretty important. He's pretty important. So that's my video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm um, sorry for the delay, and um, hopefully I can post a longer video. This video was pretty short. I'm sorry, and um, don't have a lot of play sets, and can't really say much about Yoda, but um, without... I'd like to tell you so much about this book and so much about him, but that would spoil it. And, you know, I recommend digging up some info on him. He's 900, and that's a lot of, a lot of stuff to dig up at 900 years old. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to pass it on to the next host for tomorrow. And may the Force be with you. See you next week.